Hello, clever people, and welcome to my review for Boy Erased. So Boy Erased is a movie starring Lucas Hedges, Nicole Kidman, Russell Crowe, Joel Edgerton, and a lot of other big stars. This is a big star-studded cast, and it follows the true story of a boy who underwent um, homosexuality conversion therapy. And it was, I believe, like, I, I don't think it was too long ago. I think that it was in the 2000s or something like that. And it follows his story and his struggles as he goes to this camp, as he rejects, as he learns to either which side he's on in terms of his homosexuality, if he should accept it or if he should reject it, how he can still have love for his family and how his family can still have love for him during all of this. And it's all about the emotions that go in to being in a Catholic, very, very religious family and ha being homosexual. This movie comes to us from Joel Edgerton. This is his second directed film. His first one is The Gift from 2015. That was a movie I really enjoyed. I saw it a bit later. I think I just saw it this year and it stuck with me. It's a really powerful movie. It's disturbing and it builds really, really well. What I noticed about Joel Edgerton is that his direction is really, really good even if his writing isn't so much. And I think that Boy Erased faced about the same thing. I was excited for this movie because it was Oscar release time, it was Joel Edgerton, had a bunch of big stars, it checked all the boxes for a movie I'd be excited for, and I still, I, I liked Boy Erased. I think it's a good movie. It's not as good as I wanted it to be, and it's not like it's really a movie that's gonna stick with you like The Gift did for me, but I think that Boy Erased is still a competently made, well done, powerful movie. The goods definitely come in the performances. Lucas Hedges does a great job with his performance. Even if the dialogue he was given wasn't 100% the best at times, and even though the, char the way that the character is written it, it could have been written a lot better to make the character a lot more fleshed out. I still think that that was a very attractive um, role to play because it was very emotional. There was a lot going on and it's the type of role where you really do transform yourself to become like the person you're acting like. Same with Nicole Kidman's role, same with Russell Crowe's role, same with Joel Edgerton's role. Joel Edgerton especially is a whole different person in this movie. Like. The performance that he's giving is very different from any Joel Edgerton performance I've seen before, but it worked. He does a great job. He's very realistic, and so are Russell Crowe and Nicole Kidman. And I think, honestly, the standout out of everyone in this movie, even though Joel Edgerton um, and Lucas Hedges shine, I think is Nicole Kidman. She has a quiet role. She has a kind of a reserved role that doesn't get too much screen time, but there's a certain part where her and her son are in a restaurant towards the end of the movie that is really powerful. That is truly just that moment alone is Oscar worthy. And I don't think that this movie will get any Oscar nominations. I don't think it really deserves to either. But that singular moment, I think, if there's an Oscar for best scene, which there should be, I think that that would be a good contender. My issue with the movie is that it felt a bit over-dramatized at times. And I get it. This is a very dramatic story. It's a very tragic story. And of course, there is room for it to be dramatic, but I think that it stepped over the line and became a little bit too dramatic. And I think that a lot of that came with some of the pretentiousness that Joel Edgerton has as a young director. And I think that that has to do with a lot of the slow motions. There's a lot of scenes in this movie where it's like slow motions as he's walking out or as he realizes something. And I think that they were a bit excessive. I think that um, a lot of the scenes were dramatically shot and dramatically composed and I think that that was probably Joel Edgerton's weakest point as a director and overall the movie tries a little too hard in my opinion. If it was more laid back and if it further fleshed out the characters and the subplots in the script I think that this movie would be quite a bit better. Like a lot of it is flushed out like they have a whole subplot about his roommate very very flushed out but then they have a subplot about a character named Xavier not flushed out at all. It was a weird concept contrast and you need to have every single subplot in your movie and every single idea fully flushed out. If that means you don't have as many ideas in your movie, that's fine, but you need to have each of them fully flushed out, especially if you want to have an emotional ending like this one does. 
I still think that Joel Edgerton's direction carries this movie, and I think he's got a really good vision, and I think that honestly he works best with horror. Even seeing this movie, I still see some of his like horror roots in it, which is weird to say, but the way that he structures movies is just well attributed to horror, and I think it's great that his first movie was The Gift, and if he wants to keep on trying with other genres, of course he should, but I think that he should make a few more horror movies and really hone his craft, because he's clearly really good at those. Boy Erased is a good movie. It's powerful. It's not too memorable. It has a lot of issues with being overdramatic, but in the end, I enjoyed it, and I will give Boy Erased a 6.5 out of 10. Alright, that concludes my review for Boy Erased. So, what are your thoughts on this film, or what do you think of Russell Crowe as an actor? Comment in the comment section below and let me know. I'm Robert Burke, and this has been The Clever Critics. Goodbye.